Hello. Merry Christmas. That's all done and gone, isn't it? Done, done and gone. gone. My goodness. It's nearly the end of December. I think it's the 29th. Mm -hmm. Weather's not too bad. So we're going out for our last cruise of the year. We may be back before next year. We may not. Depends what we do. Depends what a well behaved Ethel's going to be. And John. And John. So we'll see you in a bit. Well, this isn't exactly going to plan. We've filled up with diesel. Um, but just before we were about to leave, I realised that I'd left my blood pressure medication at home. And I know the canal's supposed to be relaxing, but... Uh, anyway, Tom's had to go home and fetch it. So hopefully it won't be too long, and then we can get underway. The wind's getting up. So, watch this space. Windy. So, that's not at all happy. Enough. Keep you well away from all that turbulence down there until that gate opens. Madame does not like it. So, Swanley Lock number two. I'll tell you something, I'll be glad if this wind had dropped down. I think it's coming down and there's some horrendous swirly swirly bits of wind down there and the bywash so I'm taking the coward's way out and staying in the bridge hole to not see what's happening I don't know where they're going to pick their crew up. Oh, better make a move. Well, that was a bit challenging. And the boat coming out did exceedingly well, considering they only picked the boat up two hours ago. Never had a boat before. Um, someone is driving me mad today. Right. Uh, coming up to the third lock, which is the lock one of the Badly Flight of Three. again it's very windy. Why is it always windy by a lock? Well, I think I know the answer to that one. Because you're going up a level, so you're higher up, and it's an obstruction. So the wind swirls around it. It's looking as if it's so empty, so it's top out there. Able to open the gates and be able to fly in seamlessly without touching the sides. I'm going to do it on one of them. Run into winter mode. It's got a bit chilly. Oh, 
other, than the other worker. Remember before nightfall, which will be in uh, well, less than two hours. Yeah, make it. Think we'll make Rembury before nightfall? Absolutely. We're so lucky. I'm actually happy for us. <laughs> Don't tell be shocked, everybody. Right, Badley Locks number two. And the first lock that we've come into sideways. It's uh, certainly a challenge today. Swirling wind. This is where this is where I got a magnet stuck. Oh yeah. On the tape. That was last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've only got one more lot to do and then we'll be uh, hunkering down, as they say. I know somebody who does want hunkering down. Put a voice box removing. Still. Last sail of the year, cruise. Right, this is Badley Locks number three. It's our fifth lock. Day. And it concludes our game of lock pinball. I've got no balance. No. Could have been a human frame moment then. Yeah, that's lock pinball over and done with for today. So, Mr. Magoo, where are you taking us? Well, yes, you do call me Mr. Magoo because apparently I can't drive the ship. But I try. Stop swearing. Well, I can't drive for him. We've almost reached our destination for today. It's a shame. Oh, you said about 45 minutes away, aren't we, if you remember? I thought you said four or five minutes away. 40, I said. Oh, right, okay. Can't understand me, Northern Twang. So, we were going to do a OEC. Where are we? Where, where the heck are we? Yeah, it's a bit too windy. With a so drone, but we might windy. do a where the heck oh, are God, we? Oh, it's not windy now. Well, only because we're in these trees. Ethel's been in there. We'll do yeah. a where the heck are we in the morning? Weather permitting. This is where we stayed last night, in the lovely village of Rembury. Um, that's the caravan site behind the Cotton Arms. Seems to be quite popular, I suppose, people there for the new year. So that's the view as you approach from Nantwich. Uh, that's views of wonderful Cheshire with the Welsh hills in the distance. This is how the developers are ruining a lovely little Cheshire village by building houses on every bit of grass they can find. That's the lift bridge as you approach. Now that's the lift bridge as you leave heading towards Langholm after you pass the road bridge. And there's the um, ABC Hive Fleet at Rembury Mill, all tucked up for the winter. Well, that's a view of Mucker from the air. 
desperately in need of a clean.